Halachot of the Tzumitz of Torah. This year is entitled Har Habayit number 89, Halachot of Chatzitza. One who goes to the Har Habayit, one who wants to be metahir from any kind of Tum'ah, needs to go to the Mikvah, the man, the lady, whatever the case may be, and they have to make sure when they go to the Mikvah, there is no Chatzitza, a separation between the body and the Mikvah. Midoraita from the Torah, chatzitza means something that covers the whole body or the majority of the body. A person is with mud or something on him or her, and he or she is mocked it. They're concerned about it. They're not happy that it's on the body. Midorabanan, <clears throat> if it's either something that covers uh, the majority of the body, but he doesn't care about it, or small part of the body, and he does care about it, then that would be a drabanan chatzitza. And then, if there's something on the body, small little mud on the foot or something like that, and he doesn't care. So then that is not even Drabanat, assuming that he and nobody really cares, is bothered by that small. That's called a niyat and a no makbed. It's a small amount, and he's not makbed. So that's the halacha doraita. If something covers the majority of the body and he cares, Drabanan covers the majority of the body even if he doesn't care, or a minority part of the body and he does care. And then mutar, not a chatzitza, if it's neither of the two. It's a small part of the body, and he doesn't care. In terms of doesn't care, some say it goes by the objective opinion, the majority of people, do they care that? So, so you know, it goes by you subjectively, and we're machmir, we're stringent both ways. If either you care or the majority of people care, that's enough to make it a chatzitza. When it comes to a woman going to the mikvah, the Ramah says, we are machmi, the minik to be machmi, not to have anything at all on the body, so you don't differentiate between this, between that case, just anything at all. So it's a very stri- serious stringency that the Ramah says women have, that's already written 500 years ago. According to Rav Dovalior, that stringency was not accepted by men, so therefore we, the men who go to our bodies, have the din. The din is that if it's a small, something small on the body, and you are not machmi, and no one is machmi on it, so that's not a chatzitza. That's the overview of the halachot of the from the Torah, from the rabbis, and then the minag from the nashim, and the minag that does not necessarily apply to the men. Shalom.